And Terry Virts, the new commander of the International Space Station, saying farewell. Once uh, Wilmor Samakutiaev and Sarova land in Kazakhstan, uh, they'll be uh, extracted from the Soyuz's descent module. They'll be uh, placed in uh, respective helicopters for a two-hour flight back to Karaganda, the staging city, weather permitting. And uh, Wilmor will board a NASA plane at the Karaganda airport uh, for his flight back to Houston while Samakutiaev and Sarova board a Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft at the Karaganda Airport uh, for the flight back to their training base just outside of Star City, Russia. Wilmore and Wirtz uh, put the punctuation mark on their time in orbit together with three spacewalks over an eight-day period over the past couple of weeks to prepare the International Space Station for the arrival of uh, two new docking adapters, the International Docking Adapters, to which uh, U.S. commercial crew vehicles and other visiting vehicles will have the capability of docking to in the years ahead. The uh, hatch to the Soyuz vehicle will swing shut uh, momentarily. Once uh, the uh, hatch on the Poisk module side of the docking interface closes, uh, the uh, Soyuz crew will begin to depressurize the vestibule uh, in between uh, their spacecraft and uh, the Russian segment of the International Space Station. And Undocking uh, confirmed at 5.44 p.m. Central Time over southern Mongolia. Expedition 42 is over. Expedition 43 has formally begun. Wilmore, Samakutiaev, and Sarova begin the journey home. So the image is very clear. We can see everything very well and clearly. For me, the separation is smooth. We, you know, it's a very uh, uh, clear image that we are receiving. The docking interface, could you please observe, uh, inspect the docking interface, uh, Sasha? Okay, we will do. The, the partial pressure is 206, 819 is the SR pressure in, in Spherical tanks 165 and 163. MCC Moscow, I, I can see the docking interface. Everything is clean, visually no damage visible. Everything looks fine and we are monitoring the separation. Copy, Sasha. Thank you. Samakutiaev reporting uh, that the uh, Poisk module's docking port is clean, no debris. This is the same docking port to which Scott Kelly, Gennady Padalka, and Mikhail Kornienko will be arriving at in just over two weeks. 
Just 23 minutes after landing, Alexander Samakutiaev, the veteran cosmonaut, uh, with 331 days uh, in space under his belt, first out of the uh, Soyuz TMA-14M. NASA astronaut Barry Wilmore back on Earth after 167 days in space, now with a total of 178 days on his two flights. Elena Sarova, the uh, fourth woman cosmonaut in history, behind Valentina Tereshkova, Svetlana Svetskaya, and Elena Kondakova now out of the uh, Soyuz TMA-14M, all three crew members now having been extracted, having an opportunity uh, to gain uh, their land legs a bit. Everything looks good. <laughs> the other search and recovery helicopters are uh, in the process of arriving at the landing site. Okay, I'll get it. A good view of all three crew members uh, having uh, been quickly extracted uh, from the uh, Soyuz TMA-14M spacecraft. Checking the blood pressure. Landing occurring at approximately 9.07 p.m. Central Time.